Alright, so before we get back into things, I just want to go over a few things that I ended up doing off screen while grinding up my team. So, first off, like I mentioned before, once you defeat Julia, the common candy vendor at the Grand Hall will disappear, and he gets replaced by this man instead. Uh, if you talk to him, he'll give you the rainbow field effect uh, for your Poke Gear, and you can uh, look it over at any time you want, and it's basically the same effect as when you use both Water Pledge and Fire Pledge in the same turn. Uh, from there, I decided to continue on the Magikarp side quest, where we, we had to spend another 500 dollars to this guy. Uh, I had enough money to spare to do so, so we were able to do that. Uh, it actually puts you into a double battle between the thief and the salesman, who end up using a fletchling and a clauncher, both at level 11. Defeating them will further the side quest, but it will say that the magic card was stolen from them, so you basically have to keep tracking it down. On the way to get those guys, I came across the lily pup that we m met last episode, and for that mini quest. Also, if you have the rose incense that you got from that one trainer back in the uh, lower par Paradot Ward, uh, Badu will appear on clear weather along this wall here. It's, it'll join you without a fight, and it comes with the same trainer ID as the Swirlix that we got in the last episode. Over by the large factory where we met Fern is a small house north of the Pokemart there. You can grab a protein, which can be used or sold for $4,900. Uh, I ended up selling it just to keep my wallet stacked a bit. On the way back to the City Award, the Lily Pup appeared again in this alleyway that we never truly explored yet. Uh, it's to the left of the salon, but there's really nothing here that's of importance. Finally, outside the slums, we can get the green shard from this box here. Uh, shards work similarly to how they do in the actual games, but we'll go over that in more detail when their use comes up. Alright, with that out of the way, let's Hey Pokemon continue. fans, Earl from Pokemon Awesome here, and we got some more Pokemon Reborn. Uh, last time we explored the Obsidia Ward and we started going through the Obsidia Slums. This time we're going to be going ahead and continuing on the Obsidia Slums and hopefully figuring out what's going on with this uh, overgrowth hit problem in the uh, Obsidia Ward. So, team went through a bit of a change again. We have uh, Mankey here with us this time. As you recall, we caught this Mankey in the slums, and it's actually got the Adamant Nature, which is really nice, as well as um, Anger Point for its ability. And already comes packing with some decent moves. Um, I actually taught it, uh, Sajim Toss over Fury Swipes. But aside from that, the uh, team's just the same, just uh, leveled up to basis that it should be right now. So, uh, let's go on in and continue on. So, we've got a few more trainers here. One has an Esper. Luckily, we, um, got Pineco up front to take this thing out pretty quick. Ooh, almost. Pineco to full. 
And then continue on. <laughs> so it's not Solid Snake, it's Solid Scraggy. Okay. What do we have here? Another main key. Don't need it because we already have one. Uh, if we go down here, it's actually another trainer we can fight. It's actually got three Pokemon on him. No? Based on the, the Feebats level, these are pretty high level uh, compared to what we've been fighting recently. But since this is just a fee bass, it's nothing we can't handle. Experience is nice, though. So we're gonna send out a drill burr. Um, now let's have Minky get in there. He's got Mold Breaker, okay. Uh, Karate Chop. Ooh. Alright. Um. Yeah, I'm just gonna have to say no to that. <laughs> and Razor Leaf. Knock it out with Razor Leaf here. Yes. Oh, we got the critical. And Swine Up. Well, let's let Clink in on that one. Uh, go with Gear Grind. Oh, he's got Mud Bomb. Not that matters. We can gear grind takes us thing out. So yeah, this uh this train this is actually um part of the Magikarp uh, side quest. So that's why I went back and uh paid the five hundred and fought those two guys uh off screen. Uh, because otherwise this guy wouldn't spawn here. So unfortunately, uh, the Magikarp's not on him, so we miss out on a Magikarp. We're still missing out on Magikarp. So we can't go up this way, and the box just moved. This may not be an ordinary box. In fact, it probably isn't. Skirt. <laughs> Boxes don't usually growl. Or move for that matter. Uh, have you played Metal Gear Solid? <laughs> hey, this is definitely not a normal box. Did a box just give birth to a Pokemon? I don't know. We have a fish that evolves into an octopus. Stranger things have happened. I forgot to take Panko out of the lead. <laughs> now let's let Trubbish in on this. So, because it's a Cascoon, it's most likely just going to be hardened over and over again. Luckily, we're hitting it with special moves.
not bad. Uh oh. Well, even paralyzed, we're still faster. That's unusual. Okay. Hmm. That is... I've never seen that happen before. Paralyzed and still faster. Uh, do I have anything to cure that? I do! Alright, um... Pokemon... Switch Trubbish up front. Put Mankey there as well. If we go this way... We'll see that there's a door. We can't do anything about it. Uh... We will be coming back here later to deal with that, so all we have to do is go downstairs, but first the Pokemon battle. Makuhita. Alright, fight this guy. And he's got a Sokun. Again, just going to use Harden. Not that it matters. Good experience, though. And we got Seed on now. Should be able to take this out, no problem. Ooh, Nature Power. Gonna be Tri Attack. Wow, that did nothing. Okay. Alright, so there goes that Scraggy. And... Another Trubbish. We don't need it. I'm actually going to use this healing spot because we're going to need it. So, how do I want to set this up? Lee Trubbish and Nummel. Yeah, I think that's how we're going to do it. Because, uh... If we go in, we've got a gang of Scraggies, led by a Scrafty. <laughs> so this is um, our first instance of a Pokemon gang attacking us. These are basically um, wild Pokemon, but they're treated as trainer battles, so we can't go and uh, try to catch these guys. Uh, rather unfortunate, but how it is. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and lay down some Toxic Spikes, and then Flame Burst these other guys. Faint Attack. Alright, they're both going for Faint Attack on Nubble. Down another layer and just a uh, flame burst here. Okay. That trump's got a level up. Ooh, turn learn sludge. 
Um, I don't see us using poison gas too often, so I'll forget that for sludge. Alright, Nummel's down, but he kind of did his thing. And Scrafty here is going to be uh, pretty scary. So I'm going to sw switch in Mankey. I'm just going to try to focus down this Scrafty, but I kind of want to take out the Scraggy too. Because that's at a plus one. But if we let this Scrafty live, it's just going to snowball with Moxie. Crafty doesn't have shed skin, so the toxic poison will stick around for it. Use our new sludge. That did some okay damage. Go Scraggy. I think each of the Scraggies has one of its uh, possible abilities. So, the Scraggy that's coming in might have Shed Skin. I'm not 100% sure on that. Uh, yeah. Let's just try to focus down the Scrafty now. Nice. And Mankey got a level up. Alright, Trubbish, you did your... You did well, so... Thank you for that. Yeah, it's an old Dark Trance. And yeah, so since when it came out, it didn't do Intimidate, and it didn't get the Mox boost, then... Yeah, the Scraggy does have Shed Skin. So, it is capable of shutting off the, this uh, poison status, but luckily it didn't, so we'll be able to uh, take it out re really quick. Alright, so if you're unprepared, that can be a pretty nasty uh, fight, especially if you let that Scrafty uh, get its uh, Moxie rolling. But we didn't, so we were perfectly fine. And what do you know? We're out of the um, out of the slums. Unfortunately, we can't go up to uh, City Ward yet. We'll have to go to the Coral Ward. Uh, let me just get rid of the weather here. Uh, this guy tells us that this door leads to an area called the Bis Bisbiction Wasteland. We won't be going there for quite some time, but uh, just keep that in mind. Alright, so here we are in the Coral Ward. Um, it's always going to be in a layer of mist, so all battles in here will be uh, under the misty terrain. And right here we'll get uh, an Ultra Potion. So the Ultra Potion, back when... The hyper potions in the actual games he healed for 200. Uh, the ultra potion was made for this game, healing for 120. Ever since hyper potion changed to heal for 120 in Gen 7, uh, they, they they decided to just make ultra potion heal for 120 for 200 now. Uh, we have no need for that large amount of healing, but it's good to have. Because we can actually get a Pokemon with it. So here we've got the Pokemon Center. Heal up. And if we go in here. So 
this skitty is um kind of hurt and needs an ultra potion despite the pokemon center being next door but what have you so skitty will recover and it's basically time to uh get a new pokemon we're not going to be using it it's skitty it's garbage more garbage than trubbish so yeah box filler we have a gym here keep that in mind for later uh, if we actually try to fish here we can get Grimers and eventually once we um, get the good rod I believe you can get scrubs from this area so that's always good to uh, keep in mind I'm gonna switch clink up to the front since he's the one behind in levels and we're gonna talk to um, this blue hair chick over here we got a poplio over there Let's see what's gonna happen Poplio was trapped over there yeah this used to be an Oshawott in um, previous versions so that pretty much confirms that with Victoria's Tepig switching to Litten and uh, Fern Sn Snivy switching to Rowlet, this Oshawa changes to Poplio. Is it going, going to become ours? Nope. It's going to become Kane's. <laughs> so, this uh, girl we talked to, it's uh, Amaria, one of the um, highest uh, ranking gym leaders, as Kane said. She's actually the um, 16th gym leader that we'll be fighting. So that won't be till, till the till the very end. So Kane's gonna use Grimer and uh, sing a little song, have Poplio hop on, and Nice to see that it's actually an Alolan Grimer this time. It used to be a, a regular old Grimer in the in the, in the uh, previous version, so that's going to make things interesting. <laughs> Popolio wants to go with Kane, but Kane's like, no, I only train poison types. <laughs> but he'll join him and. Uh, Time for a battle. So it's our second encounter with Kane, just like how we had our second encounter with, with uh, Victoria last episode. And he's going to lead off with uh, Lolan Grimer. One of the reasons why I decided to lead off with Clink so we can dodge any uh, poison attacks coming our way. Unfortunately, we're still taking the full force of dark moves, but it is what it is. But it's not too too bad. Oh, he's gonna have a Q bone. Okay. Uh, yeah, let's let Dartrix in on that. So, Razor Leaf should, uh, take it out. Nope. Okay. Using a potion. Not that it's gonna help him. It's still getting knocked out here. Come on. There we go. Try to learn Foresight. Don't need it. Nidorino. Um, 
Yeah, let's get Nummel in here. So Nidorino, it, it's going to be his uh, his ace with uh, at level 20. So nothing we have is at that level yet, but it shouldn't be too hard to deal with. Especially if uh, we're hitting it with a magnitude 7. That's not bad. Yeah, we can take a double kick here, or not. Huh. Did the math wrong. Minky? Let's go with Seismic Toss. <laughs> That's cool animation. Another potion. It's gonna make this not be a knockout, but next turn it will be. Okay, so all that leaves is uh, that Pompleo. Got to level 19 for that. Swagger, no, we don't need that. Yeah, best thing I have against probably it was Dark Tricks. I boxed my electric types. Alright. And this should be a knockout here. Yeah. Oh, critical. Okay. Sucks being sick. I didn't expect Poplio to be on the losing side. Wow, thanks for the vote of confidence. So, Kane mentions having a sister out in the, uh, the wasteland. Uh, that's going to be important later on. So, anyways, um... This is the reason why we couldn't go up back up to the Obsidian Ward, because Amaria was supposed to meet with uh, Florinia, but she got sidetracked by the Poplio. So with that taken care of, we can now move on ahead. But first, we're going to heal up. And we're going to explore this uh, area a little bit more. I think this guy's a trainer? Yeah. So, even though he is a fisherman, he's gonna be sending out Grimers, because that's all you can get when the uh, lake is as toxic as it is. So disable our gear grind, but it's perfectly fine. We have other attacks, like Vice Grip and Charge Beam. Nice. Ooh, one slap, that's right. But thankfully, with a uh, clear body, we don't have to worry about the accuracy drop. And it doesn't seem to be doing a whole lot of damage anyways. Disabled no more. Let's go for it. Yup, it's the weakened Grimer. Just use Vice Grip. Take it out. Ooh, Puku Muku. That's new.
Alright, um... Just go with Sludge. Alright, Sludge isn't doing much. So, let's uh, lower its special defense a, a bit. Thankfully, it only has counter. And not Miracle. Okay. And that should be enough for Sludge to be able to uh, knock this thing out. There we go. <laughs> the innards out, that's right. A lot of experience from that one, though. Okay, let's see what's down here. Can't get in there. Can't get in there either. Okay. I think we can get in here. Yeah. I think we'll be able to get into these warehouses uh, relatively so soon. So let's move on ahead. Don't think there's anything in here we need. No. Alright, so yeah, the Coral Ward isn't too exciting. Just another place that we'll be coming to every so often. But now that the guards are gone, we can explore more, and we have more trainers. Being with the Barboach. Not the best thing for me to be up against. We avoided the mud bomb. And that takes care of that one. What's next? Spinda. Uh, let's let Nummel in on this one. Saibi. Slam, eh, did all right. Better off with flame burst, though. Wow, still not enough. Okay. Okay, that takes care of that one. And over here we have another salon. Basically, they want us to uh, learn about the other salon and see why the other salon's doing doing better business. I think we can see why. They're they're asking for two thousand dollars for a haircut. Bit to the 1500 from the other one. So, aside from that, uh, we'll be able to deal with that in a moment. If we talk to uh, Florinia here, we've got, she's going to talk about all these trees and give us cut to be able to take them down. So, let's see who can learn cut. No one. Well. Gonna have to get someone that can. Do 
I even have someone that can? I should. I mean, Peter should be able to learn it. Alright. Here's Kitty's uh, stats in case uh, you are curious. That's a different ID number from you. Comes to level 20. Stone headbutt, not bad. Box main key for the time being. Okay. Give Beedoof that cut. And we should be able to continue on through the Obsidian Award. So, just as an example, there we go. <laughs> so, one of the mods that I'm using cut, cuts out the, um, the, the animation that would show that. For some reason, it's just saying Trubbish is using cut. <laughs> That's so weird. Alright, if we go up here, we can cut this one down. And now it's saying click use cut. Oh, you know what? I think that's a result of one of the other mods I have. Let's test this theory. Okay, so I think one of the mods that I have on is it lets you use uh, things like cut, surf, fly, etc. Maybe not fly, but HM HM moves without actually teaching it to Pokemon. Um, I'm gonna have to disable that next next opportunity I have. So let's go ahead and cut this down. They're gonna head on up. That doesn't sound too good. Uh, let's see, who do I want to lead with? I'll lead with Trubbish. Because I know what's ahead. So I'm gonna save. And it looks like, um, they've been ensnared. I, I simply have hentai to know where this is going, guys. Um, I know there was adult themes in this, but I didn't think it would get this bad. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> so, um, yeah, it looks like this is the, uh, the cause of everything. So, looks like it's a Tangrowth. And we're being introduced to apparently this Team Meteor person, Lumi. Or. Lumi, wait. Or. Is it Zero? Or Eve? What? Yeah, so, this is, um, Zell. It's not, um, 
schizophrenia or multiple personality syndrome. It's something a little bit differently. It's explained as we get further on. I'm not going to spoil it. And if you look at um, the text when they're speaking, whatever the capital of their name is, tells you who which one is speaking. So capital L means that's Lumi, capital Z for zero, E for E. So, the machine, it's called a Pulse Machine. This is, um... How do I put this? This is one of the uh, main uh, things, main weapons of Team Meteor. So you can see we have a, a bit of a shiny tan growth here. And, um... This is the tan growth that was in the pulse machine. I'm gonna throw an acid spray at it. And yeah, so pulse. It's basically It's kind of like a evil version of Mega Evolution. It radically changes the Pokemon. In this case, it turns Tangrowth from a pure grass into a grass poison. Increases both of his defenses astronomically. And it gives him the filter ability. So... I'm trying to do as much damage as I can while also lowering his special defense so that it makes it easier as time goes on. Oh, another thing about this uh, pulse tan growth is that its speed is very, very low. Going to uh, try to hit the sludge. Seems to be doing alright damage. Unfortunately, Mega Drain is the only, um, I think Mega Drain is the only damage move it has on it. So if we keep the damage from Mega Drain at a minimum, we should be okay. And uh, this is just one of the many Pulse Pokemon that we'll be dealing with on our adventure. Alright, so that's been taken care of. I'm going to switch into Nummel now. And hopefully this Flame Burst will be enough to knock it out. With the minus six on Special Defense. Okay. Ton of experience for that. I'm trying to learn amnesia. Don't need it. Oh, actually got up to level 20. Alright, so we took care of that and the tangro with the tangrowth uh, now gone, it's no longer going to be able to cause all of this overgrowth in the uh, ward. However, it's... However, we're informed that this is happening in other wards as well. So, this isn't the last we'll be seeing of the post tangro. So, Amaria is going to report all this to, to Amy, and Florinia will return to her gym up at the Onyx Ward. She's going to be our next uh, gym fight, so we're going to want to prepare for that, especially considering that uh, 
Cradilia of hers is her going to be her ace Pokemon. So with uh, the Tangrowth gone, all of these um, trees and vines are going to be gone. And there's actually one place we can now explore. After I change the weather back. And that's down here. If you remember, there was a tree in the way. We could have cut it down to come down here, but I decided to not bother since it was going to disappear on its own. So I'm going to switch Clink back up front because we got a trainer. Leading with a Mancino. Should be an easy, uh, take down here. I wonder, does this Mancino have, um, skill link? And we missed. Oh, it's using Encore at least. It's got to have skill link if it's hitting five times every time. Go up to level 19 with that. Now we've got a true pinch. We're going to throw Dartrix in there. Should take care of it easily. And we missed. And it's got... Oh, no! I was not expecting Rock Slide from that thing. Okay, I need a heal. Okay. Let's go back to uh, that little alleyway. Because... We have another alleyway to explore. I'm not slow, I'm deliberate. Got a plethora of Pokemon here. Squirtle. Tortuga. Let's go for Protect. Oh, wait. I think I... I think I know what this guy's team is all based on. It's all Turtles! Is this team turtle enough for the turtle club? Turtle, turtle. Why am I quoting that movie? Okay. Should be able to take out Torkoal there. Yep. Let me guess. Turtwig? Yep. Okay, so Click was able to take care of this all on his own. Yay! So 
Let's get you out of here. Oh yeah, okay. Yeah, that is part of that mod. I'll have to disable that in between episodes. Uh... Wow, you saw me all the way down there. At least we have a low tad to fight. Makes this easy. In a dearly. I'm gonna use Leech Seed. I don't think that's gonna be enough. Yeah. Not an issue. Actually, I think you need rain for this uh, alleyway. Yeah. I'll change it and uh, come back, I guess. I don't want to leave him in against that. Alright, Travis, your turn. Let's go for sludge. Should be enough. It's not. It is. Okay. <laughs> Sweet kiss won't do anything. I'm gonna switch out anyways. Don't go spritzy. Teddy Ursa. All the trainers around here. Yeah. Oh, got a. Oh, Lilio. Huh. Oh yeah, you can catch coffee in here. Counter rate. More trubbish. somewhere. And if I'm not mistaken, I think I know where that Litleo is going to gonna run off to. First, I need a heal. There's Litleo. Runs off. Yep. It's as I thought. So, similar to how certain Pokemon will gang up and fight you in a trainer fight, this will be something else that we'll be seeing quite often. Uh, big Pokemon bullying smaller Pokemon, and we step in to intervene. Oh, 
and it's a level 35 Kling Klang. I don't think there's any possible way for us to take this thing out legitimately. However, this is a cave field. So there is a way to uh, kind of cheese this. Provided we survive long enough. Bits of rock fell from the crumbling ceiling. Okay, keep that in mind for what is about to happen. I'm just gonna throw Clink in real quick. in, but since Clinkling is most likely going to use Discharge, I'm going to switch in Nummel to take that hit. Nice. And provided we don't get hit with a critical hit, we should have this, mat this fight won. Magnitude goes off. You hit the Kling Klang. The Quake collapsed the ceiling. So, basically, once you use something like Earthquake or Magnitude uh, twice in or two times, it basically causes the whole field to just fall on top of all combatants and instantly knock them out. With that Pineco, got a couple of level ups. Yeah. And Litleo will join us. Let's go take a look at that Litleo and um, just see what it's about. First, I need to heal. It's got Moxie for an ability, which is um, nice, I guess. Comes at level 18. It doesn't look like it's going to have any uh, special moves, like any special like moves or anything like that, but that's perfectly fine. Uh, but this is a great way to get a Pokemon with Headbutt, if you haven't got one yet, like Bidu for Zigzagoon. And you still want to have something like a Pineco, or a Combi, or a Spiro, things like that. So, we'll uh, end it there, and pick up on the uh, next episode. So, uh, thank you guys for watching, don't forget to subscribe for more great content, and... Don't forget about the code down below. Use that at PokemonAwesome.com. Save 10% off all purchases of $20 or more. Until then, see you guys next time.